Welcome back everybody. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to make a Zelda style combat system. Uh, I'm using the basic uh, template stuff just to show you how it, uh, it all works. And then maybe in the next episode, I'll show you how you can improve it. So for now, I've made it so you can, when you hit into an enemy, the, uh, you flash as if you're taking damage. And when you attack, it kills them. It also plays a sound, but... Uh, I've muted that so you don't get annoyed by the high pitch sounds. Yeah, so uh, very simple combat, but uh, you just press the uh, B button to attack. You see the, uh, the classic bullet hit thing. Uh, so there we go. You can just go around killing all the cats. And <laughs> not the best thing. And we can also take damage from them uh, when we walk into them. So I'll show you how that's done right now. So first of all, we'll start with a fresh scene. Um, we'll make it uh, top-down 2D, but you can also do the adventure work in progress thing, but that the enemies will be walk throughable. You can walk through them, but you'll still take damage while you're walking through them. Um, so we'll change it to the sample town. Um, and we'll also create Actually, yeah, we'll change this to our start scene, scene 17. Uh, we'll just start here in the middle. And so what we want to do is on initiate, we want to attach a script to the button. So whichever button you want to act as the uh, attack button, this is what you want to do it on. So I want it on B and I want to add a I think it's a, we just need to type in attack, uh, and it's already here for us waiting. Uh, so we've got the, whichever thing you want to attack with, you can just attack with a portal, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but obviously we'll just keep it as a bullet for now. Uh, if you had a sword, uh, I'll show this in the next episode, um, um, but you would want to check to see which way the player is facing, and then do a di the different sprite based on uh, which way the player is facing. So your sword can face up, down, left, or right. But just for simplicity, we'll just keep it uh, here. Offset 10. I think that's fine. And then the main thing will be the enemy. So let's get the, whatever we want the enemy to be. I had it as the cat last time. So we just have the cat, we'll put its collision group to 1, we'll say on group 1, which is um, the projectile as well. Uh, we'll make it so it plays a sound, um, play sound effect, and I'll make it just a crash sound, uh, won't wait, nice and short, and then we just want to hide the actor. Uh, and what this will do is, when the when the bullet hits it, uh, it will play the crash sound and hide it, just like you would expect to. Uh, obviously, you could also have variables here, and it'll take a like a amount of hits. Uh, but if you want to learn more about the variable stuff, you can go into my other um, combat tutorial intro video that I made, where I showed you how to set up turn-based battle system. The variables in there are very similar. Uh, and then on player hit, we want to have it so if when it, when the player hits it, we affect the player now. Okay, so what we want to do is hide the actor for the player. We want to wait a couple uh, milliseconds, I'm guessing. Um, and then we want to show the player. And then we want to wait again. And then... With this, we can easily uh, copy and paste this cat around, and we have some enemies to kill. I know I don't like the idea of killing cats, it's what, <laughs> it's what we have. And obviously, uh, you could make each of the cats have its own AI or something, or it chases you. Um, but So here we go, we're pressing B, and it's uh, firing the project, or the attack actually, it's just doing an attack. If I, if I walk into the cat, I start flashing. Um, obviously, 
the wait times is um, the important stuff here. So um, if I change my wait times, then it will change the um, the flashing speed. Uh, but uh, yeah, so they all work the same because I copied and pasted them. And when I hit them, they disappear. And obviously, to make the enemies more complex, you make them move around, make you animate them, and you can uh, make them take more hits as well. But yeah, that's simple as that, guys. The Zelda-based combat tutorial. That's the first one in this series. Uh, I might make different uh, kind of attacks so you guys can uh, uh, have a breadth of of things in the games you guys want to make. I hope this uh, was what you guys wanted. I, I made this because uh, a lot of people requested it. Um, and I definitely will go into more detail in the future about how to make more things for this kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I hope this is what you guys wanted. And uh, if it was, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, don't forget to comment what you want to see next. Thanks for watching.